what Jax B the Ripper here. So I'm here with like a little story time video, I guess you could say. I don't know if you want to call this a story time or not, but we're let's just call it that. So I just finished celebrating like my birth week, I guess you could call that. Um, basically, my birthday was on the 15th of May and I went to Universal Studios for the first time. Yes, I know. Everyone looks at me crazy like, what do you mean it's your first time and you live in Los Angeles your whole life? And I'm like, yeah, it was my first time. What can I say? That was fun. That was fun. But really, um, Universal Studios is just a place just to look at. The rides are even short. Look, I, look, I've been to Disney. I don't know how many times. I've been to Six Flags. I don't know how many times. I've been to Knott's Berry Farm. I don't know how many times. The thing is, like, yes, I know rides are short typically, typically, but I felt like those were longer than the Universal ones. Like, literally, you hop on in 10 seconds, it was done. <laughs> so that's the only thing. But Harry Potter World was nice. You know, the Simpsons Land or whatever was nice. And I spent more of my time in Mario uh, World. But if you're gonna go, because I know that's like the one that people want to visit right now the most. If you do that, beware. The f I think we all know park food in general is like crappy unless you go to Disneyland. Disneyland actually has like good food. I went in there and I had, um, what's it called? The spaghetti over there at to the Toadstool Cafe. It was generic spaghetti. They were like, oh, it's spicy. I was like, that's why I'm good with spicy food. And I had hot Cheetos make my nose run unlike this food. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, the $10 cupcake. I felt bad because my friend bought it for me. Um, it was a, it was like, you know, supposed to look like Princess Peach, like the colors. It tasted so terrible, that frosty. It was like, it was bitter. I don't know. I don't know what's the word. You know, like, have you guys ever had like purple flavored jelly beans or pink fla fa flavored um, jelly beans or something like that? You know, that awful aftertaste that's that's that taste right there so anyways yeah i don't really recommend eating there they don't drinks to select if you want all those fancy little drinks or whatever it's like at a cart somewhere upstairs i believe yeah that's the thing too i had to face my fears on the escalator because the elevator wasn't working and i have a fear of heights just not like roller coaster heights but like escalator moving thingies heights and climbing up a ladder height for, for some reason stairs, no problem. Um, I had to face my fear and help hold my friend's hand <laughs> the entire time. I thought I was gonna have a panic attack. Um, the stairs were blocked off the first row. Like, it's on hills. I don't know about the Florida one. I can give a rat's ass about the Florida one. But ours is on top of hills. I saw like a, a flight of stairs being freed and it wasn't blocked. Fucking ran down there. <laughs> just ran climbing back up was another another situation though i was like oh no i have to take the escalators up like i can't i still can't believe i climbed up 200 steps or more so yeah anyways let's talk about the rainbow bar and grill a little bit like i never really told stories from there probably because i don't have that many even though i've been there like i'm gonna say maybe a total of 10 times out of my life um the first time i went there i was 23 and it was um, the 40th anniversary or the 40th birthday, however you want to call it. Um, I was 23 going on 24. And I and my friend Renee and her husband Jeff, they took me there because they're like, hey, do you want to go? I was like, yeah. And I've never been to the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Obviously, I knew how legendary it was and everything. So I was like, absolutely, I want to fucking go, right? And I wasn't expecting to actually meet rock stars. Now, you're not going to meet them all the time when you're there, first of all. I've been there, like I said, a few times. But, but I did meet Carlos from Rat, and I met him, and I met Sean McNabb as well. And Sean McNabb, at that time, I don't know if he still is, was with Dokken. So he was performing with Dokken um, uh, for the 40th anniversary, at least. Um, but he was with the band for a while. Being Sean McNabb knows my friend Renee, as well as Neil Turbin knows her. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to meet Neil, Neil Turbin, but I've seen him a couple times. I highly doubt he recognized me because I've seen him not only there, but I've seen him also at the Sabaton show. I just didn't want to stop and say, hey, you know, we, we know Renee. You know, I don't want to, I just, I just, I just didn't want to sound fucking weird. So. Apparently he follows me on TikTok. <laughs> I was like, okay. That was a really fun night. And then I remember once Dawkins was performing and everything. <laughs> this story, okay. So if you haven't seen John Dawkins, I'll put a picture right here. Uh, <laughs> again, I, I was, I'm still flattered, but yet in shock. Cause mind you, a lot of these women that went over there, they were worried. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember at that time, what was popular, it was the Hot Topic corsets, right? So there weren't even like real corsets. They were just like, you know, these flimsy, cute little with the bows and everything. I don't know. I, I 
I had one at one point. <laughs> um, but yes, but I never wore it. I only wore it, I think, like one time. And that's these ladies were dressed like that, you know, and they were older than me or whatever. So I'm over here thinking, oh, all the guys are gonna hit with hit on them and everything, right? Because they're showing so much. I was wearing a mega death shirt and I was wearing my leather jacket, okay? So I didn't think I was gonna get hit on by these like perverts or anything like that, right? So I was like, oh nobody's gonna look at me. I'm like, no. Um, so but I'm still flattered, but at the same time I was like I'm not going back wherever he wants to invite me, but basically like, cause I was right there in the front. Don winked at me, like he literally winked at me. And then I turned to Renee and I was like, did you just see that he winked at me? She's like, yeah, I saw that. I was like, I'm not going if he invites me so <laughs> to go with them. I was like, I'm not. So, and then after when they got off stage, I forgot what punk band went on there, but Ron Jeremy introduced it. I was like, yeah, we could go. It was the last band anyways. And we were, you know, we were it was almost like, I don't know. I think it was almost like one or two or whatever. Uh, we're like, fuck it, let's go. Or we already saw the other bands we wanted to or whatever, right? That was a little funny story. Carlos Cavasso was great though. Um, really nice to talk to. I met him twice actually. He, he was also playing at Redondo Beach. So yeah, I met him a couple times. Really nice guy and everything. Him and his wife are really nice and everything. And I remember like, <laughs> When I was talking to him the first time at the Rainbow, I was like, yeah, this is my first time. He's like, really? I was like, I was like yeah, like he was like in shock. Like, what? really? This is your first time? I guess because everyone that goes there has gone like so many times. That's why. Yeah, no, this is my first time. I swear. Like he couldn't believe it. But the other time I went there, I know I told you guys, I, I already brought it up actually. So I'm not really going to hit on this. But it was when I went to go see because Beezer Butler was there. Um, as well as Eddie Trunk was there. So, you know, he had his little sh radio show there, right? So I went there, nothing magical, but I saw like how people were hounding Geezer. I'm not like that, dude. I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that. I don't know why my mind is blanking right. I don't know why my mind is blanking out right now, but I was like, was Bill Ward there? No, I don't think he was there. I have to go back through the videos that I took. That's gonna be a while through my Instagram. I know the guy from Rage Against the Machine. I, I'm not a big Rage Against the Machine fan, so sorry if I don't know the name, but he was there. Uh, so it was a cool night, you know, it was a real cool night. So I won't really get into that just because I know I did like a topic off that. No, it was, wasn't was necessarily on that night. Okay, now I remember. I, I, I remember I was watching more of Eddie Trucks um, interviews or whatever when he was taking phone calls. Okay, now I remember. I'll put the video somewhere. But, and then the other story was recently when I went to the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Cause, okay, so when my coworkers, I just recently started like getting to know her more and everything, right? She starts like, we started like getting along or whatever, right? And then originally we were supposed to go to an emo prom in Long Beach. You guys are probably like, what the fuck? Like, shut up. That's what we were originally supposed to do. And um, it didn't happen. Um, but you know what? I'm glad it didn't happen because she she messaged me because I, I messaged her and I was like, hey, are we still gonna go? And then she was like, no, but I'm still down to hang out. And I was like, okay. I was like, and then she goes, I'll buy you a drink, you know, for your birthday. And I was like, okay, sure. I was like, that was nice because I know my, my issue throughout life was always like, God, I'm always the one making plans for everything and asking people if they want to come. And then it's kind of sad too. Like I get it to a point, like when it's your birthday, you want to do things for yourself, but everybody hates what you do, you know? So that's like i've always been surrounded by people like that so i mean don't get me wrong the universal trip was actually fun i'm glad i got to do that and everything then i had a nice dinner with a couple other girls that came to city walk and everything too so that was great but it was like really nice she was like no like i want like it was kind of like saying like yeah i want to spend time with you like i'll buy you a drink and everything we'll do whatever you i was like wow somebody's actually thinking about like me i don't know it was it was so nice really it was really nice um so i was like okay so i got in the car or whatever and i wasn't used to being given free will or whatever when she came and picked me up and i told her like look i'm sorry it's just usually i'm used to people always taking in control and they never like anything I, I like to do she's like oh girl i'm down for anything i was like me too she's like we could go downtown la we could go to long beach i'm not the biggest fan of long beach even though we were making plans of going to that emo prom <laughs> but I, I don't know what it is about long beach i i always have some kind of situation that's always uncomfortable that goes on there so so then she was like well i'm willing to go to hollywood i was like you want to go to Rainbow Bar and Grill? She's like, I've never been there. I was like, girl, I'll be your tour guide. <laughs> I was like, I will be your tour guide. I know how much parking is. I know where you could try to find free parking and I don't drive. <laughs> so I know you guys are probably be like, what? I was like, dude, I hate driving, but trust me, this is going to be the year where I'm going to have to learn. I just need to get my glasses before I go to the DMV. Okay, that's a whole nother story. But yeah, I just don't like driving. 
So, but I could tell you all the shit there. Like I could tell you which way to take for less traffic. <laughs> I was like, I could tell you all that. Um, so definitely try to take where you go up to like West Hollywood and like past the Beverly Hills section because if you take all the freeways and all that, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck that. Going through K Town, fuck that. <laughs> It's like just yeah so, so so we went ahead like we went to her place she went to go change then we left and then we went over there we didn't have to do a reservation to my surprise because usually saturdays and sundays they're packed so i was like i was i mean there was people but it wasn't packed and i was surprised right so i was like okay so we got in you know we had a couple of drinks or whatever it's funny because before i mentioned the rainbow bar and grill there is a place in Redondo Beach called uh, Rock and Roll Brewery or something like that. It's owned by Kiss. And I was like, oh, maybe we should go there. And I Googled it. The hours, they close at 10 on a weekend. And she made a point. She was like, what happened, Gene Simmons? Like, what the fuck happened to rock and roll all night and party every day? I was like, that don't exist in his world anymore. So, but it was really fun. You know, we just had, we just chilled or whatever. And then here's where it got funny. Here's where it got really funny. So after... I finished eating my birthday cake. They brought me or whatever, right? I told her, I was like, let's go to the bathroom. Let me show you where it's at. It's literally like this narrow staircase. It's like really hard for like two people to go passing each other, right? So we go up there and then there's only one restroom for the females and there's two for the males. So there was a line, right? And so I'm like, okay, whatever. We're just standing right across the men's restroom. <laughs> And the lady who was like next to us, she was a sweetheart. Like she commented on my tattoo. She was like, your tattoos are so nice. I love Sailor Moon. I was like, oh, thank you. And um, then like, she was like, you know, that used to be, it used to be two. Like it's basically, I, I think that's what she said. She's like, that used to be the female's bathroom and it was only just one male. So I was like, what the fuck? They obviously see there's more women standing in the line, right? And it's filled in there, right? Uh, so I was like, what the fuck, right? And then like, I kept staring at the stall, not the stall, but you know, the door. And then I like, pushed it in a little bit the men's restroom door and I was like there's no one in there should I should we go in and all the ladies behind me they're like yeah go in there go in there we'll, we'll stand guard we'll stand guard and I was like okay so I go in there me and my friend and that other lady would go in there and then as we finish wrapping up like the guys caught on or something and they're like they're almost done they're almost done like the other ladies were like screaming like they're almost done leave them alone and <laughs> we we leave and they were just giving us like daggering looks i was like that shit was funny and then my my friend she made a point well we know why they don't do this but she was like why don't they just have like a family you know like those family restrooms or a co-ed one and then she stops and thinks she was like Oh, probably because they'll be fucking in there, huh? I was like, girl, I'm not gonna lie. I would too. <laughs> she was like, like, like we both agree, like, oh, dude, there's something about the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Like, once you go in there, like, I don't care how much of a prude you are, like, you will be all of a sudden a little horse once you step in there. If that ever happens to me, I'll have no problem sharing that story with you. Anyways, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Just, I don't know if that was a story time. Uh, yeah, I guess. So let's just call it story time, whatever. I just felt like talking to you guys. And, keep you up to date i guess i guess that's an update video too anyways i go back to work not tomorrow but the next day i had like a nice little week off at first that shit was crazy because i'm so used to going to work and that's all my life is and the first day off i was like well not besides my birthday obviously i had stuff to do on my birthday but like the thursday i was just like what do i do like it was just it was so bad like i was like freaking out right so and now i'm like all comfortable with it now i'm like fuck we have one more day off <laughs> i'm like okay anyways thanks you guys for watching salut and i'll see you guys in the next video say goodbye eddie